So your girl's getting bored. <laughs> Not only that, but I just found an unopened uh, licorice root extract. Let me zoom in. Um, so yeah, it was unopened and I guess it came in a pack of two when I'd initially bought it and like it doesn't expire until like um, 2023. So I'm going to mix this uh, with, I think I told you guys about this the other week, the mallow extract. So yeah, we have the mallow and then we have the licorice root and basically I'm just going to do it on one arm because I want to see um, yeah, how effective it is. <laughs> um, so I'll just do it like every day, once a day on one arm and basically I'm just um, I'm having some issues with the outside of my arm. You can see, you know, the color versus like look at my chest or even don't even look at my chest, look at the inside of my arms. So the inside of my arms versus the outside is like ridiculous and so I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person who has like uneven um, lightning but so I'm just going to do it on one arm um, just to see and over the course of maybe two weeks to see if we see a change in this arm versus this arm and if licorice root is even like that effective I know I had used it um, in 2019 and then I definitely didn't use it in 2020 but what I notice is that you have to be careful with it. If you don't get the dose right, you can give yourself contact dermatitis. Basically, it's just like this itchy rash. Like it'll be little raised bumps, but they'll be like in a circle. It almost will look like ringworm. Um, <laughs> and uh, you might have to go to the dermatologist to figure out how to, you know, basically fix it, which now I know it was basically my licorice root that was doing that because there have been some dermatologists who have made the link between licorice root and people giving themselves that little rash. Um, but I just think mine was way too strong. And so I will only, I'll be using this sparingly <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll just see what happens, but it'll also have the mallow root. And then I'm probably just gonna like dilute it in some coconut oil and slather it on the outside of my arm because the outside of my arm is just, ugh. I mean, obviously both of them, I don't like both of them, but yeah, this is gonna be the arm that I pick. <laughs> and then in two weeks time, we will compare and we will see what are the changes. I just thought it'd be fun. And obviously I found this and um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it and just how effective it is. I did um, look up some stuff on the skincare talk forum and some other forum boards on people using licorice root and honestly, like no one like put any before or after photos. Um, I didn't really find any helpful information. Most people, when they talk about the licorice root, they talk about mixing with other stuff. So some people were mixing it with kojic acid and vitamin C, some people had some glutathione in there and um, they were making topicals and stuff like that, but I didn't really get any like definitive answer on what to expect. Um, some people have commented on my videos that they've used it to lighten spots. So like if you have age spots or if you have liver spots or things like that, that it works. Um, Real self showed like a, a before picture of this girl. She has, her inner thighs are really, really, really dark. Um, and so one of the doctors on Real Self actually recommended that she do a mixture of licorice extract and ascorbic acid. And so I'm assuming that would be diluted in water because you'd have to dilute the ascorbic acid and um, basically just apply that mixture to it like once or twice a day to her inner thighs anyways. But uh, she had already used, um, I think she said she'd used the kojic acid soap for I want to say two months and she said she didn't notice any difference and um, obviously if you have like hyperpigmentation especially in the thighs it's really really difficult like for areas where like you know your clothes rub up against because basically our clothes can act as um, almost like exfoliators like if your clothes are too tight and so just how like if we over exfoliate our skin we can give ourselves hyperpigmentation your clothes can do the same thing and so you know it was just really really bad in her thigh area but she did say that she had lost a lot of weight and so now she's back in a healthy BMI but the hyperpigmentation and the darkening is still really really bad and so I thought it was interesting that he was recommending the licorice extract and of course they said if you go to like a med spa or something they can do chemicals like different chemical peels and they can lighten it up but she would need a few treatments and stuff like that so obviously it'll be cool to see what some of these ingredients can do just on their own um my routine is just going to be really really simple just a little bit of this and then some of the mallow and um 
and some coconut oil and yeah it's gonna be interesting i really really hope it works because like i said the inside of the arm versus the outside is ridiculous and it's just it's getting on my nerves <laughs> I'm tired of it. Um, also, this could be an area because when I'm driving, this is the area that's usually in the sun from the window. We are kind of in that time of year where long sleeves when driving. And I mean, I hate it, but it just is what it is. Even when it's like 90 degrees outside, but this arm is just like getting, um, you know, beat up <laughs> really bad. I'm sure you guys have seen maybe on the news about some of the SPFs that are on the market have basically they're getting recalled because they have toxic levels of I can't remember the chemical name so I would definitely be looking into all natural sunscreen naturally me by Karen I know she makes her own homemade sunscreen I've actually used it before it works great um, but that just might be something that you want to look into because a lot of the stuff that's on the market now um, they have some weird I don't even know how like one of the ingredients like the chemical that's in it that's not supposed to be in it honestly isn't even on their ingredients list and so they're definitely going to be having some lawsuits because something happened within mixing at the plant and this basically affects a lot of different sunscreen companies like this is Neutrogena um, and there's a, a couple other companies that this affected but uh, a lot of their stuff like I've, I've used and obviously I don't use it daily but it just makes you kind of think twice before reaching for some of the sunscreens um just doing something all natural right now i think would be your best bet especially if you're in the u.s since we're having some issues with um you know toxic chemicals <laughs> being in our sunscreens um i don't think it was done on purpose like i said the chemical that's not supposed to be in there um because uh, i think someone did testing i can't remember if it's the fda that did the testing and that they found that it's like three times the level of what's allowed but basically most of the companies come back and said well we didn't add that and it like it doesn't matter that they didn't add it it's like it's still in the sunscreen and so uh, sunscreen drama <laughs> So I think for most people, just uh, look for all natural or um, just cover up, do a long sleeve or I ha usually have like a cardigan in the car and then you can just put that on. I took it out because, yeah, but I need to put it back in because obviously I'm having some issues. Uh, as far as for hands and driving, um, really just on the steering wheel, I just try to hold, you know, closer to the bottom of the steering wheel. So I guess you would say around eight in three or eight and four or something like that instead of like way up top but um I, th I think most people can just figure it out i mean i know some of you had said that you guys just wear gloves like you don't even play